Hey everybody, Spark here with 15 new glitches for Super Mario Maker 2. Let's go. Glitch number one, the clear condition is that I need to get a coin. Where, oh where is the coin though? Did you know that you can hide a coin in the goalpost of a 3D world? You can see the coin bouncing up and down a little bit there. So to get that coin, all I have to do is a little corner clip, and then I can go into the flag. Glitch number two, we have yet another unobtainable checkpoint. The burner's going to push the cannon down ever so slightly, and it covers up, I don't know, the hitbox of the flag. You can't touch it at all, even if you go into a shelmet like this, a dry bone shell. Look how much I'm inside of this flag, and yet I still can't get it. <laughs> Unobtainable checkpoints. Glitch number three, this is another one-way clip. We're gonna use that P-switch, the P-block, and the note block, and when I run full speed into that little gap, it's going to clip me all the way underneath through that one-way, the semi-solid. Freedom! Glitch number four, we're going to clip through this note block right here and go to the right, and we're gonna do that by climbing the vine immediately and jumping off of it like that. So you jump as soon as you start climbing the vine and you'll slip through there, through the gap, and into the goal. A glitch number five, we're going to use this POW block and the P-switch to move this cannon. So the goal here is to duck slide into the P-switch like this, drop the POW and pick the P-switch up real quick, and you'll see the POW goes to the right a little bit, so I'm gonna kick the P-switch and then run to the left, and that will move the cannon ever so slightly. And so I will do this repeatedly, and eventually I'll get that cannon to fall into the hole. There we go. We beat the timer. But as you see, eventually I can slide that cannon into the hole and accomplish something else cool before time runs out. <laughs> Glitch number six. What you're going to see happen here is a clown car, a furious clown car, crushing all of these POW blocks for some unknown reason. When I start the scene like this, you'll see all the POWs start to get stacked inside of that gap. And it looks like the POWs are merging, but really they don't because you can see that dust cloud that's left from behind. Um, so when I hit this P-switch and it pops up, you see another dust cloud. All of the POW blocks all get destroyed except for one, which is very interesting. Glitch number seven, the vine that's inside this note block right here is very, very glitchy. If I grab the mushroom at the same time as I jump on the note block, you'll see it glitch out. And even on subsequent jumps like this, you see it clipped a little bit, like the animation is messed up or something. Glitch number eight, this big cannon is going to shoot out a Mecha Koopa into this little gap right here. And when he does, the Mecha Koopa is going to clip through all of these note blocks. He gets to the bottom, shoots his little laser beam, then he's like, alright, I'm out. And he goes through those blocks too. Glitch number nine, a crashed dry bone shell can go through many things, like a checkpoint and a flag, without actually getting them. Check this out. <laughs> no end of the level for you. Glitch number ten, so here's the setup. Now, on first glance, you would think that the claw is holding on to the piranha, but it's actually not. When I walk underneath it, the claw is going to drop a mushroom and pick up the piranha, which is interesting by itself because it's not on a level where it would actually pick the claw up by itself. So if I walk underneath it, you see it drop, and it doesn't actually pick it back up. So why did it pick up the piranha? I only can assume that that happened because the claw was already weighted down by the mushroom and so it released it and grabbed the piranha but still that doesn't make much sense so if you do a setup like this <laughs> piranha will get picked up and thrown by the spring which could create some trolley interactions and glitch number 11 with this setup spike ball hits this hidden block right here and that's going to put the hidden block where the munchers are sitting so it kills the first muncher now every time i hit a hidden block another muncher is going to die and this is similar to the uh, remote bomb activation glitch i think because every time you hit a hidden block it refreshes all of the hidden blocks so when that hidden block over to the right gets refreshed it kills a muncher it crushes one and so that is why this glitch works Glitch number 12, what we have here is a setup similar to what we've done in the past with big enemies clipping through the ground and whatnot. This time we're going to boost clown cars out of these note blocks and when that happens, the clown cars are going to get stuck inside this little place and they're going to hide items or dangerous things. So right now you wouldn't know that the clown car is actually holding something that, that could be useful or could be very dangerous. Say if I jump here, I hit a P-switch, or if I jump over here, well, I die. 
glitch number 13. Here's the setup. These cannons right here and these blasters are all stacked up. So when we start the scene, these are all going to get crushed down a little bit. There's on-off blocks at the bottom row right here, and they're going to get hit by this thwomp, which makes all of these raise up a little bit again. So when we duck jump into this little gap, we're going to get stuck, and those blasters lift up. Now these munchers should pass through us harmlessly, which is pretty interesting, because that's not normal. We are soft locked here, so there's no, really nothing we can do about it, but it's cool that we don't get hurt by these munchers. Glitch number 14, we have two stacked claws right here it's a little bit less of a glitch and more of just an inter interesting interaction we can jump upwards like this but we can't actually drop from these it creates an interesting little situation a glitch number 15 watch out if you see a setup like this because this dry bone shell is going to clip into this cannon because of uh despawn respawn jankiness so if i set mario up right here and slowly walk over here you'll see the dry bone shells at the bottom of that cannon which doesn't seem too crazy it seems a little unassuming however if i go on this conveyor belt and go over to the right i'll actually get stuck in here and i'll clip into this cannon and i won't be able to get out right now i am soft locked until time runs out or something kills me rip thank you so much for watching today's video subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one peace out